My name is Courtney Murray, and I'm a 21-year-old senior at the University of South Carolina. I'm Annie Boyder Jolly. I'm 20 years old. I'm a junior. All right, my name is Chuck Redman. I'm from Greer, South Carolina. I'm a senior. I'm not voting for her because she's a woman, but I'm incredibly excited about getting the chance to vote for a woman for such a high office. Neither one makes it like, oh, I'm going to vote for her because she's a woman and I'm a girl, or I'm going to vote for him because he's African-American and I'm African-American. That, that doesn't come into play at all for me. I look at Hillary and Obama as, as both people that want to make change the same way they've been saying, and hers through experience, his is with a new perspective. And um, I just lean to the new perspective side. There is a member of my family that shall remain nameless that um, was like, basically, I'm not giving my, I'm not giving my vote to Obama because I'm, I'm not sure he'll be able to, to pull it out. And after Iowa completely changed their mind and was like, well, I knew I always liked him from the beginning and agreed with what he had to say. And now I see that he can win. So that's who I'm supporting. I think that was one of the main problems people were having uh, was they didn't think he could win. That because um, especially as well, especially here in the South, um, he's still a, a black male. And I, I think some people had the same problem with Hillary. The fact that she's a woman um, didn't know if the country was ready and if the country would actually stand behind um, a, a minority. There is a huge undercurrent of sexism still in the country. Um, I mean, I think uh, race issues are more, more overt and more on the open, and I think we're all more sensitive about racial issues, but, I mean, sexism is still a huge problem. Women are still making less than men. Um, there are still fewer women who are, you know, teaching in universities, even though there are more women in universities. It is the South, and the South is different. Not, not to say that, that, you know, South Carolina is a state full of racists or that everybody in the South is racist. That's not, um, not the case. I think there's some sentiment that some people still feel that um, minorities are inferior in some way. And when I say minorities, not just black people, just basically anybody that's not a white male. I think to actually see the highest office, one of the most important people of our nation, the president of the United States, the United States of America, be an African American, um, would be right there. That's, that's a role model for my kids, for my grandkids, for me. I mean, when I was like in kindergarten, I told my teachers that I wanted to be the first woman president. And it's just incredibly exciting to me that if, should I ever, you know, run for president, that I wouldn't, there's a chance that I wouldn't be the first. I've, I think it'd mean the country has come a long way um, from where we were. And I think it brings a lot of hope um, for a lot of black males. I think it'll be, uh, he can be a great role model for a generation of young men that uh, are historically very troubled in, in the nation. And I think uh, it'll be great.